There we go. go. Hey, hey, there he is. What's going on, brother? How are you? How much, man? How are you? I am doing well, busy as can be, but uh, always a good thing, you know? What's up, everybody? We're here, episode number two of Nick's still unnamed interview show. Uh, we've got Tariq from Event Hawk. Um, if you don't know what Event Hawk is, it is a awesome service for party rental uh, websites. He'll go into all the details with that stuff. Um, but anyways, I'd like to welcome Tariq. What's going on, man? What's up, Nick? Super excited to be here. Super awesome. So let's jump right into it. Let's see if we can bring as much value as we can here. So first things first, why don't you tell everybody what exactly Event Hawk is or does or how it can bring value to somebody who's a bounce house operator? 100%. So just in a nutshell, Event Hawk's sole purpose is to help convert your website visits, those clicks, into actual paying bookings. Everybody talks about SEO, Google Ads, clicks, clicks, clicks. Um, I've been there for years. I own my own party rental company, and I did everything kind of the same way. But then I realized I got 100 clicks, but how many bookings is that? How many, how many of those actual clicks booked? And once I started to ask those questions, I went down this journey. And a few years later, I come up with this product that is designed solely to convert clicks into bookings. And we do that through text message marketing. Uh, we find that emails, people don't really want to use email anymore. They don't open them. Phone calls are great, but, you know, I have to be in front of, you know, I have to be not doing, for me to talk to you on the phone, I can't be on Facebook, can't be on, Instagram, can't be on YouTube, right? So I have to stop everything I'm doing to talk to you on the phone. Once we started utilizing text message marketing, it just really blew up. So uh, that's essentially what it does in a nutshell. A uh, lot of different things to it, but uh, essentially, if I had to kind of put it in one sentence, Event Hawk helps convert website clicks into website bookings. Period. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah. So, um, for everybody, you know, bring a little value at home. So, I actually signed up for Event Hawk literally, I guess, yesterday slash today. Um, and so everything's starting to go live on on my website right now. And so, if you guys want to go check it out, you can go to my website. It's thejumpoff.com. Um, but the stuff that kind of is just starting to pop up and and kind of get activated in there is uh is super cool. I'm very very excited to get everything implemented and get going forward. So awesome. Excited to have you, man. You should get it integrated and, and ready to go within 24 to 40. Well, I say two business days, but like you saw, it took us like 12 hours to get you going. So uh, it just kind of depends on the demand. Uh, we have a great team. So it's not just me. So we, uh, we, we get it going pretty fast. Um, whether you're watching on YouTube or you're tuning in on the podcast, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're listening to the podcast, leave a review. It means the world to me. I appreciate it very much. So that's super cool. Okay, so then let's rewind a little bit and kind of go through your personal history, you know, your comic book number one, so to speak, um, your origin story. So what were you doing before Party Rental and how did the heck did you get into Party Rental? Yeah, so about seven years ago, my wife and I started a Party Rental company uh, outside of Chicago. A lot like a lot of you guys, you know, we rented a bounce house. It sucked. We said we could do better and we did. Um, now, I was very successful in my career. I went to school for radiology, actually. I, I was a guy that takes your x-rays, CAT scans, and I got really good. I moved up. I worked in a top Chicago hospital. Uh, things were great. And then I even moved on to teach at a community college. I still do that, in fact. Uh, so I'm a college professor, but I, I always wanted to own my own business, right? That's the dream, right? And it's just like, no matter how good I did in my career, it, it wasn't mine. And, and we started this business and we said, hey, you know, it'd be pretty cool if I didn't have to rely on my, I like my job, but I don't want to have to rely on it for, for my income. And uh, <clears throat> that was a dream, just like a lot of you guys. I just wanted to go from being a part-time party rental company to a full-time party rental company. And it sounded easy at first, but then one year passed by, we didn't make it. Two years passed by, still didn't make it. And, and, and in, in a place like Chicago, we're only six months out of the year, so it made it even tougher. And uh, I, I decided that, hey, you need to invest in marketing, right? And marketing gets really, really expensive because I tried posting on Facebook Marketplace. That helped a little bit. I did all these, all those little things, but I said, hey, if I want to be one of the big dogs, I got to do what the big dogs are doing, right? Big dogs are spending big money on marketing. So I'm going to hire one of those big uh, marketing companies, a couple thousand bucks a month. Let's do it. If they're going to help me make half a million, why not, right? Uh, so I did, but you know, it's uh, it didn't work out because what I found very, very quickly is they were kind of learning on the job. Our industry is very, very unique. And if you're not working with somebody who has experience in party rentals, it's just going to be a very, very big learning curve. And I mean, for example, I kept getting calls for, for house rentals instead of bounce house rentals. 
and I'm paying for that, right? So it was very frustrating. So I, I, we, I cut ties with them. I tried working with some, some guys who, who are in the industry, but then I had the opposite problem. They knew the industry, but they were too busy delivering water slides, right? I'll call and say, hey, how are my ads doing? Like, you know, let me call you back. I'm delivering a water slide. We'll hear back for two weeks because they're busy, right? So I said, you know what, man? I know this works. It's, it's not the process that's the problem. I'm the problem. I need to learn digital marketing so I can grow my business, so I can support my family. And I did. I spent about a year and a half, spent all, as much all my money, thousands of dollars, countless hours. I hired mentors. I put all my time and energy into learning digital marketing to grow my party rental business. It was very tough because, again, what works for everybody else, like I tried so many different processes that, that work for everybody else, but it just didn't work for our industry. So I would go back to square one. I, I would start over many, many times, but eventually uh, I came up with a process that worked really, really well for me. And uh, the following season, I implemented what I learned and we tripled our revenue that year, like, like nothing. Like I didn't have to hire anybody. We tripled our revenue and I was able to walk into my boss's office and quit. So it was great. Like I said, I still like to teach because I, I do that part time. But um, long story short, I started seeing other people having the same issue I was in the Facebook groups. So for a long time, I would just kind of help out. Uh, you know, I wouldn't charge anything, right? Because I still have my own company. But in no time, they were like, hey, can I just pay you to do it? I'm like, no, man, I got my own company, right? Uh, but after a while, it just got to be the demand was so high. And uh, and now I do this full time. I still own the party rental company. My wife runs that. But as of now, very proud to say that my team and I, uh, we run and operate the largest marketing company in the party rental industry. We have hundreds and hundreds of party rental companies that we help. Um, and, and because we only work with party rentals, we don't charge thousands of dollars for our services. We charge, you know, much less. We charge hundreds because we, we only work with one niche. We, we, we understand it very well. And the results speak for themselves. We have more reviews than anybody else out there, right? We got almost 100 as I'm making this video. Uh, so very, very proud of that. And the best part is our team is made up of other party rental company owners like me, like you, uh, that who started out as my customers. And then maybe the husband was doing deliveries and the wife was sitting at home. She's like, hey, I can help out with this. So a lot of it is kind of just kind of organically built up. And uh, our, our team just really understands the industry. And that's kind of where we are today. It just kind of started out as, a, as me trying to solve a problem for myself. And now I proudly help uh, hundreds of other families. So it's really, really humbling. That's awesome. And, and uh, a great story, too, because I, I feel like so many successful businesses start out by accident and then scale as you, you know, the way I look at it is because um, I watched your Google, your Google ads video and followed along, set up my own Google ad, you know, and as you're going through it, you know, and, and I thought I was a pretty good marketer. I knew I had room to improve or anything, but as I'm going through it, it's so much more complicated than you think. And I'm so fresh to what you were teaching on the, on the YouTube channel, which was the expert mode, if you will. And it was just kind of like, yeah, at that moment, I was already going to sign up for Event Hawk. Um, but at that moment, I was like, I know myself. I will go down the same rabbit hole you went down and learn it all. Da, 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 da. I was like, or I can just do the monthly fee for to pay you guys to do the Google ads. And I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to go that route because it it's so complex and hard. 100%. And, and you know, it takes some, some wisdom to get there. Um, you know, it's it's time and money. It's like, you know, we all want to save money. When you start out your business, you think, I want to make money. But we say, hey, you know what? How am I going to make more money? I'm just going to do everything myself, right? I'm going to do my, all my own deliveries. I don't want to hire anybody to deliver. I have to pay, right? Uh, I don't want to hire anybody to do marketing for me. I'll just learn to do it myself. Well, you don't, well, you realize quickly once you come to a few years into that business maturity that, you know, I really wasn't making more money all that time. I was waste, I was spending more of my time when had I hired somebody, I may have been able to do you know, three times as many deliveries at a time, or had I hired an expert, uh, I would have got, you know, three times the results with Google ads. And I would have got, instead of paying $5 a click, I would have paid 90 cents a click. Right. So, um, it just, it just takes time to, to get there. I wish I had somebody to tell me that when I started out, cause I was cheap, man. I don't want to pay anybody for anything. I'm like, Damn. I'm going to for my money, man. I'm not, I'm going to do this. I'm going to figure this out on my own. And, uh, it wasn't until a few years later that I actually, uh, I started to spend money in, and, and I, I wish I knew that sooner, but at the same time, Back then, there really wasn't somebody that speaks my language, like how I speak your language. You know, we speak, we're in the same industry. Um, not to toot my own horn, but we're very lucky to have these Facebook groups and have people in there like like myself who can who can help. And I, I learned from so many other people, too, in the groups about things that I'm not a specialist in. Um, even like you, like I watch your videos. 
I, I don't really do deliveries anymore. And I, I was watching one of your videos the other day about the, uh, you know, drying the inside of the slide. I was telling my wife, like, you know, because it's it's it sucks, you know, getting all that water pulled in there. So that's not a, an area I'm an expert in. I'm a marketing guy. And when it comes to delivery in the field, I'm not there anymore. I used to be and I used to kind of innovate things like you did. But now I'm not there. So I, I trust you to, to bring me that knowledge. And you should be trusting somebody who has ex experience and expertise who does it full time. Because otherwise, you know, like you saw, it just changes so fast and you end up just really shooting yourself in the foot when you're doing it all by yourself. Your time should, as a business owner, you will learn that there are things that only you can do, right? And, and, and this is really, really key. Hiring, training, building a culture within your organization, uh, routing, <laughs> like when you start doing 40 deliveries <laughs> a, a, a weekend, I, I have not been able to find anybody that can route like I can. Those are the things that I want to put my time in. Sure, I can I can learn marketing. Sure, I can go do deliveries myself. But those things I can hire somebody to do. But there are things that only I can do. And if, if I don't do them or if I allow somebody else to do them, my business is really going to struggle. Um, so so those are the things that, that you want to focus your time into. If you can delegate something, then you should delegate it if you have the right person. Right. So that's that's kind of where I'm at with, with that. It's tough. It takes some 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 gut there, right? So to, to just kind of jump in and trust somebody. Yes. Much. I always say there's two things you need to look for before hiring somebody. I don't care what it is. Two things. Look for the two R's. I call them the two R's. Results and reviews. If somebody can't show you their results, they just tell you, hey, man, I want to do your marketing. You're going to kill it. Okay, can you show me some examples of other people you've done it for? If they can't show you that, that's a red flag. And reviews. Because some people can get you really good results but they don't pick up the phone when you call or they don't communicate with the customers. So that's what I look for. That's what you guys should look for. Look for results, look for reviews. So if you go on my website, eventhawk360.com, I got results and reviews posted everywhere. Hey, check out our results, check out our reviews, check out our results, check out our reviews, because that's, that's, that's really what it comes down to. And if you find somebody who can deliver results and reviews, they're worth their weight in gold because they, they've shown you that, trust them, go for it. Um, and, and really that's, that's just, Think about it, Amazon, right? Before we buy anything on Amazon, we look at the reviews. Uh, but with us, we just kind of, oh, I guess somebody referred this, recommended this person. It might not be the best fit for you, right? So results and reviews, what it goes to. Yeah, I mean, and I was textbook, right? So I was I was Mr. Do It Do It All Yourself, right? And if you look at um, the, the most popular video on my YouTube channel is me almost doing everything myself. It's at like 65,000 views. It's almost, it's like 50 minutes long. And uh, there's at the end, a guy that was working for me, his name's Adam, shout out to Adam, but Adam comes and kind of takes over. But I mean, I was doing 80% of everything myself. And that was at the time where, right, I'm booking everything manually with pen and paper. Everything's going through the Facebook page. That was my only website I had was the Facebook page. So every slide I had, to, uh, every slide that was getting booked was a conversation through the Facebook page with me. And then I got to, you know, go and calendar it. And so I'm sure there's a ton of you watching this video that do the same exact thing. Okay. And so, and for me, I had already quit my job way before the jump off could pay the bills, right? Cause I had to, I had to go. And so I was holding on to holding on to the money, so to speak, like you were talking to um, because I wanted to pay the bills, AKA I wanted to keep my wife off my back. But uh, then it finally gets to this point where I noticed it was getting, some size and some traction and so and that's when the first investment i made um on anything non-equipment related was a website and i shout out to lee from inflatable office that dude took so many freaking calls from me that guy explained everything so well was so patient i finally freaking sign up and within probably days the results were so obvious that it was so worth the money and so my suggestion for anybody, just like Tariq just said, my suggestion is look where you can invest your money to help scale you as an individual. When you remove yourself from the booking process, you think it's going to get worse because you're not talking to everybody, but the secret is nobody wants to talk to you. They just want to go click buttons and book without a human being in the way. It frees up your time to then start. That's when I started doing marketing, right? My own Facebook ads, my own stuff, my own signs all that stuff and the business starts to really go and then as you just continue to go there's other things that come along when you spend money on real estate you spend money on right and now now i'm handing the marketing reins over to Tariq and event hawk 
Well, you know, also you, you probably notice you attract a different kind of customer when you treat your business like a business. If you're a business owner and you don't have a website, with all due respect, we all started the same way. I started the same way, but it's a side hustle. You're going to attract side hustle people. They're not bad people, but they're going to want to pay less. They're not going to respect your equipment. They're going to, they're not going to really see you as a legit business. Once you have a website that immediately puts some trust there that, you know, whoa, this guy's, you know, you're going to attract those. I'm not saying that everybody you're going to attract is going to be higher end, but at least you're not going to attract people who just want to pay you cash. Maybe you won't take care of your equipment. They see that there's some kind of organization behind this business. So, I, you know, that's that's just a no brainer. It costs money. Yes. But uh, I forgot who said this or, or how exactly they said it, but they said the commodity of, of uh, or the currency of successful people is not dollars. It's time. It's not money. The currency of successful people is time, not money. You need your time, right? You don't need money is good. But at the end, the goal of having all this money starting a business is so that we can have our time, right? So we can <laughs> one time. day. It's, it's, crazy. it's crazy when you think about why we're doing all this. If you ever stop, sometimes I drive myself crazy. Like, why, why am I doing this? I'm, I'm making good money. Now what? Like you invest all your time to make all this money so that you can go and spend that money to get your time back. Then again, like that's the whole cycle if you ever think about it. You right. think about it like, like, holy crap, I'm doing all this really not for money, it's for time. And and here I am spending all this time when I could have been paying somebody to begin with. So it's it's tough. You have to kind of grow to that point on your own. But yeah, 100% a website is going to uh, to help. But that, I have to disagree with you a little bit there. Uh, and that's kind of where I was for, for like three. After I started doing all this marketing, I had a website and I had all that. But that's where I got really good at the marketing side, to getting people to my website. But then most of us don't look like how many of those clicks booked like I started, right? right. That's what Event Hawk does. It helps you understand how many of those clicks ended up booking. Uh, I love inflatable office. I use inflatable office as well, but they don't really show you that side of it because that's not their job. They're a booking software. That's what they specialize in. That's where Event Hawk comes in. It helps you see and control and 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 take care of those people who clicked and convert them to book because at the end of the day, they click your website. So let's say I type in bounce house rental near me. Uh, I see your your great ad. I click your website. You got a beautiful website. I don't care what you have on that website, right? I'm not going to book right then and there. I want to think about it. I want to read it about it. I want to, I want to, you know, consider it. I want to talk to my wife. I, you know, so studies have shown that. And you ask yourself, when was the last time you visited a website and spent money the first time, right? You have to go and come back a few times and then you book. So that's where Event Hawk, before they leave, it says, "Hey, let's get your name and number." And it does a does a very good job of that. And he does it through the pop up, and then this way you can follow up with them. While they're shopping on your competitor's site, right? They moved on from your site, but they're having a text conversation with you and they, they end up booking through you. So it's really amazing because it's just having that website. And, and actually, Event Hawk kind of was built, interesting fun fact, to complement Inflatable Office. Uh, 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 Tim at Inflatable Office, the owner, I, I kept nagging him for a few years like, hey, Tim, you know, I, I've been studying, studying digital marketing and it says you should do this and it says you should do that. And he's like, okay, okay. So he'll add features for me, like literally, like drop him out. It was amazing. He's an awesome, dude. But then at some point, he's like, you know, Tariq, we're a booking software. We're not a marketing software. So I think I don't think we could do what you're looking for. And uh, after he said that to me enough times, I said, you know what? I think he's right. I have to kind of come up with something else. And now Event Hawk and Inflatable Office, they integrate together, uh, which it's, it's a very cool uh, journey for me that I, I went from starting out just like a lot of you guys to coming up with this product to now partnering with the my, my website provider to, to, to provide help for the rest of the industry. But I just think it's really important to understand, you know, those steps that, yes, you need a website, but then once you get a website, be conscientious of how many of those clicks that you're getting, how many clicks you're getting, and then how many of those clicks are converting into, uh, into sales. It sounds like a foreign language. It's not very easy to do if you're not tech savvy and good with this stuff, but that's where it helps to kind of have somebody because, you know, you could, you could hire somebody to do it for you, or you could just spend half a day, 12 hours trying to figure it out and still possibly not do it right. Yeah, it's more, it's more. I mean, so two things. So number one, uh, we've got Tim, the owner of Inflatable Office, office. he's going to be on here um, in two weeks. So okay. that'll be a, that'll be a cool conversation with him. And then the, the other quick thing, um, little story. So, right, I've got the YouTube channel. I give away all the information for free. I've got all sorts of free stuff that I do, right? Um, I'm driving down the road in the neighborhood adjacent to mine, right? So my turf. This is Sunday. I'm driving down the road. I make the corner and there's a giant dry slide. And I'm like, oh, hell no. On my turf? I get a little closer. What do they have? 
the yard sign that looks just like the yard signs that I use. And at that point, I was like, it's time to get serious because I enjoy giving everything away on YouTube for free. And I enjoy teaching everything that I do. And I knew this day was going to come, right? But I'm like, now people are using my own ammo against me. I got to go up a notch. And then, uh, so that's why I know, I knew for a fact at that moment, it was go time. It's go tough. time. That, that's, that it's definitely tough to see that. I will say, I mean, there's, there's so much to go around. Uh, we've helped hundreds of businesses in uh, this past year. And, I, you know, it's the, the biggest complaint that we get about our service is, Tariq, I'm too busy. Tariq, I'm out. Tariq, I'm fully booked. Tariq, I don't have enough delivery guys. Can we turn down the ads? Can we turn down your marketing? It's never, I don't have enough bookings. It starts out that way. They work with us. And then very quickly, it's like, Tariq, I'm too busy. I, I, we need to turn it down. So the reason I mentioned that is I, I know, because uh, I'm just like you. I mean, people say, Tariq, you're like, I've literally, like, I've lost relationships with people because they're like, well, I'm paying you for this. And then you're going and teaching people how to do it for free. Like now my competitor is going to get on. And I'm like, dude, when, when did you ever tell me you didn't have enough book? You're the one that you just last week were telling me, let's bring down the Google ads because, you know, I, I, I can't. I don't have anything left for this weekend. So it's uh, it's it's there's just so much to go around. And I think uh, you, you get what's yours. But agree. There's, the world is abundant. I got I got so much flack for when I started, you know, just from my buddies or, or, or family or whatever. When uh, I started the YouTube channel, they're like, man, you're giving away all your best stuff. Like, what are you going to do? I said. This is this is a call to action to myself that I'm gonna have to elevate once people start copying my stuff. Like this is gonna help me as much as it's gonna help other people. So, um, and then speaking of your channel, so let me put this up here. Okay, so your your uh, YouTube channel is just Event Hawk, right? It is Event Hawk, correct. Okay, so in uh, doing my homework for this interview, I went on there and was clicking around, and then like I said, I did the whole entire uh, Google Ads video, and it was great. I got my Google Ad up there. Um, I followed everything you said, so I'm hoping my wording was right, but we'll find out. Um, but if you guys are not subscribed to the Event Hawk YouTube channel, I highly recommend it because you can go on there. Tariq has amazing tutorials, follow along step by step how to's, and like he said, he's got a background in, in college instructor, so everything is clear, concise, and easy to do. And so if you're, I would say like this. If you're on the fence about spending the money on Event Hawk, just go to the YouTube channel and follow along. Real quick, you'll probably go through what I went through is you'll see A, how much opportunity and money you're missing by not doing it properly, and B, how much money you can bring in when you do it properly. It's worth the investment in my opinion, but please go subscribe to his uh, YouTube channel because it is not big enough for how much value he is bringing, I promise. Thank you. Yeah, most of my, I'm on Facebook a lot. YouTube, you know, I, I could probably learn a thing or two from you uh, for YouTube, but yeah, my most of the stuff that I do, we got thousands of followers on uh, on YouTube, but really, I mean, I, I go through kind of the same. If people ask me, Tariq, oh, it's usually in the beginning. It's like, okay, so I have this this crash schedule. They're like, what's the catch? Is this going to be like some big, long sales pitch where you're just going to tell me, you know, everything that, that you could do and you're not going to tell me how to do it? I say, no, I'm actually going to show you how to do it. And they're like, well, what's the catch? Well, why would you give away for free? I kind of go through what you what you say as well. And I say, well, first of all, I'm not going to be able to show you everything, right, in one hour, right? Uh, we do have like paid courses that I offer. But at the end of the day, I offer you this knowledge as a value. My goal, if nothing else, is to help you not waste money on Google marketing. Because who wins, right? If Google, if you end up spending $5 a click uh, on Google when you could be spending 90 cents like, like most of my customers, how does that benefit me, right? Why? I mean, that's not helping me that you're paying more than you should be. So if nothing else, I would like for you guys to be able to at least not waste money, not waste time. I may not, you may not be able to hire me to help you, but at least I'm helping you not waste time. And my hope is that once you grow to the point, uh, uh, you know, psychologically, right, as a business owner, once you get to that point where, you know what, I'm going to be smart. I'm not going to do everything myself. I'm going to hire somebody. My hope is that you hire the guy who, who was there for you when, when you didn't want to pay anything, right? So I teach you for free. And I, I, I hope that when you are ready to spend money, you come to me and it's work. That's exactly how it played out. Uh, I didn't know it was going to play out that way, but I just did it for a long, long time. And eventually, like people were silent. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't get a lot of comments, but all of a sudden, people were like, "My God, I've been following you for for years, and I've been watch, I've watched every single one of you." Like, dude, I've never even heard of you. You know, and it's it's really, really awesome, really humbling. But um, that's that's kind of where I'm at. You know, we just, I, I just give you the value. Uh, I at least help you to where 
honestly, anybody who watches my videos, honestly, you'll get to where you're better than 50% of marketers out there. We're party metals. That's that. That's how it is. Uh, again, it's not going to get you to 100%, but it'll get you. It'll get you to at least 50% fast. But like Nick said, you know, you have nothing to lose. You know, watch the videos, learn, uh, do it, and then once you're ready to really go hard, like like Nick is, just just hire somebody to do it. And our prices are really the the way you think. You got to think about it. If you don't hire somebody like me to help you, you end up paying Google the difference, right? So either way, it either goes to support Google or support me. But with us, we're, we're very huge on reporting and communication. We text, like Nick Nick knows we've been texting him back and forth. Like we we are textable business. So you just text us, hey, Tariq, uh, I want more water slide bookings. Can you, what do I got to do? Or hey, Tariq, uh, this area has all the mansions and, and I want more work there. What can I do? And this, you just text us and we just text you back. All right, here's, here's what you got to do. Here's what we can do for you. It's, we have all these teams that text you once you start working with Event Hawk. All of these big marketing teams that, that started from just me and then it became people who I've trained uh, are, are working with you on your business, helping you grow your business. And you just text them whenever whenever you need something and they'll just text you right back and tell you what you got to do. You no more email and wait 24 hours for a response. So very, very proud of that. Yeah, you guys are doing a great job, man, for sure. So, all right, let's switch, let's switch gears here a little bit. Let's go a little bit more tactical. Um, so I'm going to kind of rapid fire some questions. So in your opinion, what's the one thing that a new operator can do that will get them more revenue, get them more bookings? And let's say they've got, what, three to eight units, right? They're, they're new. So it's, it's, well, it's three things. Like it's not, there's three things you absolutely need. Number one, you hit on is website, right? You got to have a website. If you don't have a website, you miss out on all the opportunity that everybody else is doing. Uh, but I, I have to say too, I have to cheat on this one. Google ads to drive traffic to the website and then something like Event Hawk to convert that traffic into bookings. You will, you will, I mean, we're so confident in this. We offer a 30 day money back guarantee. If you sign up with us for Google ads and Event Hawk and within 30 days, you're like, Tariq, I didn't get the results I wanted. You cancel, we'll refund you 100%, no questions asked. You lose nothing. It's, it's really, we're that confident because we've done it literally hundreds of times for people over and over again in this industry specifically. So that's the fastest, best way to get bookings. Drive high quality traffic to your website from Google and then use Event Hawk to convert that traffic into bookings through text message marketing. So um, the underlying thing here, and, and I'm super stoked because I 100% agree with you, is no, the number one has got to be the website, right? That was when that was when my business to it went from, I think you, you said it the best where you said it went from a side hustle to a business. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you go from, regular neighborhoods, then all of a sudden, you know, it took a while for the SEO to get going and everything to get going on the website. But by summer, all of a sudden I'm in gated neighborhoods. All of a sudden I'm at million, two, $3 million homes. Nice. All of a sudden I'm not ever at a trailer park anymore just because that's right. That's just the way things went. All of a sudden I can raise my prices with confidence because I know that my client base is set to where, you know, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. It's the client base that I've always pictured myself serving, right? Cause I wanna be high end, high touch. Um, I wanna be the best, the most expensive, et cetera. And so the website for me sets that whole thing off. Mm -hmm. um, and if you guys want, so uh, Tariq and I both are partnered with um, Inflatable Office. They run all of our booking. Um, I absolutely love them. It's the only website I've ever had, so I could be a tad biased there. But um, I do have an affiliate link with them. It's down in the description if you guys want to sign up. Um, it adds a little bit of value to me if you sign up through the affiliate link. But um, I'll drop it down in the in the description so you guys can go check it out. Um, and they have a system where they have <clears throat> they have a system where under ten units is actually free. You're, you get the software for free to kind of help you get there to get you over 10, right? And then once it's over 10, you're like 120 bucks a month or something like that. Well, so. yeah, some, some motivation for you. I started exactly the same way. I, I started with them for, with the free one. Uh, and then now we got, we're paying them a lot right now, but it's, I don't even know how much I pay them because it's just so totally worth it. And we've grown so much, but yeah, I started just like that. So if you want to be like Nick and me, start with that, uh, start with that free one and hopefully you'll, you'll exceed us very, very soon. Okay, so next question. Once you get a website, what my, my question is going to be what three things, but you can put whatever number in. What three things can you add or change to it to be more successful quickly? Like simple. 
So, so your website is going to be like your haven, right? You're going to, you're going to be so proud of your website once it's there. That's your business, right? That's your baby. But it's going to be heart wrenching when nothing happens, right? It's like you, you build this gem and it's in the middle of the desert. Nobody knows about it. So that's where marketing comes in. You got to get people, you got to put a billboard up, or not physically, but that's where marketing comes in. There's a lot you can do. You can do Facebook Marketplace. You can do Google Ads. You can do SEO. There's a lot of different things you can do. I've tested them all. Um, the fastest, most effective, cheapest way, hands down, uh, is Google Ads because that works instantly, right? So that's what I would say. Number one, you get a website, get Google Ads to it. I'm going to give you guys a tip. This is where a lot of people waste years, literally years, okay? They will say, I'm going to put this banner on my website and it's going to kill it. And they do that for years, right? And they have no idea if it ever kills it, right? What if I told you that there's something out there that can actually give you a sneak peek and record people on your website so you see exactly what they do on their website? On your website, you can actually see recordings of them and whether it killed it or whether they just scrolled right past it and didn't even care, right? So it's th there's a couple out there. Uh, the one is called Hotjar. It's paid. That, that one you have to pay for after like 100 recordings. But I found out about a new one. It's actually by Microsoft. And it's actually a really awesome platform. It's called Microsoft Clarity. And all you got to do is put one quote on your website. And it'll show you literally just the actual recordings of people on your website. Where they click, where they scroll, where they get stuck. One thing it helped me with was dead clicks. Like I had pictures on my website um, of setups. And people like this over and over, they'll click the picture. And they'll realize it's not clickable over and over and over again. So what did I do? I made it clickable because in their head, they're thinking it should be clickable and that's a click I could have got. So things like that, that, that's what I would say. You get people to your website, watch them, spy on them, see what they're doing <laughs> on your website, right? Because then you'll really see, um, I'll give you guys a quick tip. Something I learned after doing this is on your homepage, above the fold, above the fold comes from a, a newspaper terms. So a newspaper, you have to unfold it, right? To see the rest of the story. They say the story that's above the fold is most important because you don't have to open a newspaper, right, to, to, to read what's below it. You're going to see that top story. That's where you want your most important information, above the fold. What that means for your website, they should not have to scroll at all on mobile and on desktop. They land on your website. Without them having to scroll, they should figure out a couple things. First of all, what do you do? So many of us don't explain this. Um, we are not a, a car rental company. We are not something common, right? It's, it's common, but it's not as common as uh, an airline ticket or a hotel. If I go to a hotel's website, I know what they do. They rent hotel rooms. Your website, people, you'd be surprised how many questions they have. They come to your website. They're like, <clears throat> is this, a, is this a, a play center? Do I go there to play or do I, um, or do I, <clears throat> do I rent it? Okay, I rent it. Do, I, do they deliver it or do I pick it up? Uh, are they in my area, right? <clears throat> So above the fold, you know, you're the one that picks up the phone. You see all the questions that customers ask. You should answer as many of those as possible in as clean a way as possible above the fold. So I'll give you a quick way to do that. For me, I'm in, I'm in Chicago. So I would say uh, we deliver high quality bounce house rentals to the Chicagoland area. That's it. That's my value statement. I need something that's clear. I answered three questions there. First of all, we are in Chicago. Oh, okay, they're local. So, you know, sometimes you go to a website, and, oh, this is really cool. I wonder if they're in my area. Right away, you've used like your main city. You don't have to mention every little city, Chicagoland area, you know, uh, uh, in, in the Sacramento area, something like that. So they know you're local, right? You got to have that above the fold. Then you want to mention what it is that you do. Balance houses, right? Water slides. You could say inflatables. Most, you, you know, for, for us, you could have a list, right? We, you could say bounce houses at the top and then have a short list under it, bullet points, bounce houses, water slides, obstacle courses, dunk tanks, whatever, but above the fold. I know it's not common, and I know you're like, Tariq, I've never seen a website like that. My website's not even like that, so don't feel bad, but this is what the, this is what you're supposed to do, and it makes sense, right? And then lastly, a big question people have all the time, drives me crazy, do you deliver or do I have to pick it up? Like, seriously, you don't know that? <laughs> like, it, it just goes to show you that what's common knowledge to you and me as business owners is, is you know, customers have no idea. So when you say deliver, Chicagoland, bounce houses, boom, you've answered three of my questions. It does something very awesome where the next website they go on, your competitor is not going to mention the city. So like, oh, I wonder if he's local. Is not going to mention bounce houses, right? He's going to say, oh, we, we're, we're, event, we're your event, uh, uh, event rental website. What is event rental? You guys write tables or, or tablecloths, right? I don't know. Uh, and then he's not going to mention delivery. 
So guess what they're automatically going to think? They're going to think he does none of those things, even though they do, but they didn't mention them and you did. And they go like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to go with the guy that actually does this stuff because they don't want to pick up the phone and call everybody and see what they do or what they don't do. So right off the bat, you build trust, you build value, you're confident. Those are the things you want at the top of your website. That's cool. I don't think that answers your question at all. <laughs> but no, I, that's good. So um, I actually did that literally. So after we talked yesterday, I was at my computer at five in the morning, fixing mine up, dragging it around, right? Because I don't know Elementor very good. I know WordPress a little bit from building my own personal blog a long time ago, but I'm a little clunky with Elementor. But uh, I got it set. So I may go add delivery in there. I didn't add the word delivery in there, but I got North Shore, Bounce House Rentals, and Water Slide Rentals. Bang. So I'm excited. Um, all right. So for Google ads, kind of, as I mentioned earlier, they're very complex and I'm a big fan of, right. I'm going to have you guys do mine for Facebook ads. I think the product on the Facebook side is much easier to work with. Um, you can actually do it from the Facebook, um, notify, or I'm sorry, from the Facebook page app, or what is it called now? Meta business manager or something. I think business you suite, something like that. Yeah, business suite is what it's called on my phone. You can go in there and you can set up a decent ad pretty quickly um, and write your own copy and everything like that. So I think doing a Facebook ad for a new operator is much more achievable. Um, that being said, when they're the confusing part for me for a long time was the targeting. So what specific words or, or demographics should people be targeting on the Facebook ads? We don't do that. I'm gonna be honest with you. We don't okay. target. That. We we don't use Facebook. We we used to do that where we used to target, um, uh, you know, women between the ages of 24 to 35 who are parents. Uh, we found that we got a return of maybe like five to one sometimes or two to one because just because she has kids and it it doesn't mean that their kids have a birthday party, right? It doesn't mean that they're gonna be interested in what you have. Uh, so what we started doing is retargeting, not targeting where we will retarget people who visited your website but did not book. Uh, and then we could just kind of remind them of your brand over and over or show them a special offer. It's kind of like, you know, when you when you go to somebody's website or you or you talk about something, Alexa's listening, right? And then you go to Facebook or Instagram, like, oh my God, look, honey, I'm seeing ads. We were just talking about this. <laughs> That's what you get to do. Um, it's very complex. You can't do it from your phone, sorry. Uh, it's, it's something that, you know, honestly, it took me a long, long time to learn, but uh, it's it has to do with the Facebook pixel, audiences, setting up events. It's a very, very complex system, but it has the potential, once you integrate your, your Facebook ads with your Google ads, it has the potential to get you insane returns. I'll give you an example. Um, my record return, I think last year on Google ads was 30 to one. So for every dollar, you, you know, uh, this company spent on Google ads, they got $30 back. That's my record. On Facebook ads, my record last year is 83 to one. It's insane, 83 to one. But not because, and every time we do this, the, the, the operator's like, Tariq, why are we messing with, with Google ads? Let's just keep doing Facebook and forget Google. The only reason Facebook is working so well is because we're integrating it with Google. It's bouncing the same data back and forth. So um, I do teach a master class on how to do this because, like Nick said, I do believe that uh, you can do this if you have the right resources. But uh, it's not, again, you, I've had people take the class. They pay me for it. Um, it's worth thousands of dollars, really. I mean, that's how much I spent to learn it. Uh, but it's, it's, we don't, we don't, again, we, we, we don't charge them. It's, it ends up being like a hundred bucks an hour to learn from me. Um, and we've had people take the whole class and then still hire me anyway. Like Tariq, I took the class. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't have time to do this. So uh, you, you just, you just don't want to do that. Um, but Facebook is good for branding. Uh, and I will tell you something that you can do without the Facebook picks or sorry, without, uh, uh, the, you know, the retargeting, uh, per se. And this is the general Facebook strategy that works. I did a, I just recently did a uh, Facebook uh, uh, crash course. I didn't mention this in it, or, or I didn't mention you know, more, as much details I'm about to tell you, but the best way to use Facebook is to show a video, okay? Not a picture, show a video and do not sell in the video. Just show kids having fun, going down the slide, mention your city name, mention delivery, same things. And just show a video of kids having a good time, jump in using the, the water slide and, and go ahead and target women between the ages of 24 to 35 or whatever your target audience is that have children. And then you can go into your audiences in Facebook. You have to do this on a computer and you can say, okay, I want to create an audience of everybody who watched 50% of that video. 
And those are the people that you target with another ad that says, hey, get get a free, you know, overnight or get 10 bucks off your, whatever, something on, on social media, you have to offer something. Otherwise, they just have no reason to, to book, right? They're never going to get off their butts and do it. So, but you don't want to show that ad to everybody because it just costs way too much. But if you do it that way, it's a couple, it's an extra step, but that's worked really, really well for us. We've got some decent returns off that. Interesting. All right. That's super cool. What is your thoughts on boosting a post? It's, it's like hunting with a grenade, honestly. <laughs> You know, you'll get something, but you don't know what it is and you get a bunch of nothing. So it's just, you know, running up actual ads is like hunting with a sniper. You get exactly what you want. You get high quality boosting posts. Yes, it will work. It will do something, but you don't know what it does. You know, you, could, you just throw a grenade and you're like, hey, I hope I get something. So that's that's kind of my, that's what I'll say about that. Yeah, my favorite is uh, I'll talk about Facebook ads or whatever. And someone's like, oh, I tried it. They don't work. I'm like, well, explain to me what you did. They're like, man, I, I boosted most. Most of my posts, and I got nothing out of them. I just wasted my money. Like, yeah. you just made a post and then paid to have it go to the top. You didn't make an ad. Yeah. All right. So let's switch gears a little bit. So let's go to employees. So when you were running your inflatable business, who was the first employee you hired? What did they do? What's your take on hiring? Um, I get that question a lot. Okay. So hiring, I mean, uh, delivery. Really, you need to be two, in two places at once. Everybody wants their bounce house at 1 p.m., right? And you got to start early. And, you know, if you're relying on yourself to make seven deliveries or eight deliveries by one, uh, it's it could happen. But, you know, why not split and, and have somebody help you? So your first your first hire should be a uh, another person to help deliver. Now, the biggest difficulty for me was the vehicle. I didn't want to spend 30, 40, 50 grand on a vehicle. I wasn't ready to do that, right? And I just, I didn't want to make payment. I just didn't want to do that. I like to pay cash for everything. I didn't have 50 grand, so I just didn't get nothing. Leasing vehicles is actually, I wish I knew about it earlier. Uh, I've used U-Haul, Penske, and all that good stuff, but we've had good luck with Penske in my area. Um, we lease actually every year now, we lease at least two or three trucks all summer long, right? I just, because I used to get them every weekend, and then one weekend, they're like, oh yeah, we don't have any. I'm like, crap, what am I going to do now? You know? So I'm like, you know, forget it. I'm just going to lease it. And even though I pay for it for the weekdays, right? But it's totally worth it. So uh, your number one hire should be a delivery guy and your, um, your, your, you just lease a vehicle. I know a lot of people don't do that because they're like, well, I don't have a second vehicle. Lease one, rent one just for the weekend. Um, be careful of the first of the month. When the weekend falls on the first of the month or near the first of the month, everybody's moving out. So there's no vehicles. That's what I learned the hard way. There's no uh, there's no trucks to rent. So if you're going to rent something and the weekend falls near the first of the month, do it early, right? Do it do it very early. Or any I guess the last weekend of the month is always uh, is always a tough one. Last weekend, first weekend. So uh, always rent early if you're going to go that route. That's cool. So you're just renting like the small box truck. Yep, I've done vans. I've done twelve footers, sixteen footers. Just depends what we need. That's super cool. And then what's the cost difference between? Weekend to weekend versus if you get one for all of peak. So I'm going to give you guys a tip. If uh, What I found is uh, I, I, I was actually at a job and I met a guy, the biggest company in our area was delivering with a Penske. I'm like, I thought this was embarrassing. You know, like this is a multi-million dollar company. And I never wanted to do that because I was embarrassed to pull up with a Penske or U-Haul. I'm like, these guys are they're like almost multi-million dollar company. They're, and I talked to the guy. He's like, oh, yeah, we lease like 20 of them every year. And he told me about his rate. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. So I called them and they gave me a totally different rate than what they gave him. But then when I dropped his name, they were able to pull him up in the system. Like, you know, I'll do this right now if you can match his rate. And they were able to do that. It was like, like really? It was that easy. So uh, he gets like a great rate because he's got 20. I mean, I think I got lucky because I think if, if they looked like he's leasing 20, you're leasing one. <laughs> they wouldn't have done that. But uh, I got lucky. So uh, my company's bounced my house party rentals. Just tell them, hey, bounce my house in Orland Park, Illinois. I want to get their rate. We are paying for our uh, for our 12-foot truck. That's our smaller one. We pay $300 a week, 21 cents a mile. That's nothing. I mean, if you if you compare that to, like, it's, you know, and then there's, like, insurance and taxes and stuff. Uh, I get their insurance. I would recommend it. Uh, one time I had uh, my guys, it was late night. They had, like, uh, a 19-foot double lane slide. Full of water, they, they they floored the gas, and the slide flies back and breaks the lift gate. They couldn't even get the get the lift gate open. If that was my truck, I would have been out for a month with no truck because it was Penske's truck, and I paid for their insurance. 
the next day they're just like, yeah, just drop it off and they gave me a new truck. So it, it was great. Uh, I would definitely get their insurance. Uh, don't don't save money. Don't try to go with your insurance. Just get their insurance. It's less headache. That but, is a cool. That is a cool life hack. I've never heard that one. So <laughs> may look may look into that one for Fourth of July. <laughs> yeah, well, get them early. They go quick. Cool. Um, all right, and then so I'm in warm weather. You're obviously in cold weather. So I always suggest everybody buy wet dry combos down here because you could rent them basically 52 weeks a year. Same up there, or is it a different unit that you suggest? The most depressing part of my summer is walking through my warehouse on 4th of July on the busiest weekends, and I got like 20 dry units sitting there and nobody wants to rent. So 100% best advice, listen to Nick, wet dry combos only. If you're just starting out, honestly, your first 10 units, in my opinion, should be wet dry combos. Don't even bother with a slide. I mean, a slide is fine, but I feel like my customers, they see more value in a two-in-one. Oh, it's a bounce house and a slide. Um, and like like Nick said, I can rent it 52 weekends out of the year, um, even here, like indoor events and things like that. But yeah, yeah man, it's it's heart rent. I literally, like, I, like please, like I, like, I want a water slide. Dude, I have a bounce house, dude. I'll give you 20 bucks off. Just let me rent this. They just sit there all year long. So uh, yeah, definitely wet-dry combos is the way to go. Super cool. Um, all right. Anything else you want to touch on that uh, we didn't hit, whether it was with Event Hawk or or any other things that you got on your mind? Uh, yeah, just watch watch my videos. They're free, like Nick's. You know, that, it, it'll really educate you a lot. Um, you don't have to do this alone, honestly, guys. I did uh, learning through gr growing your business through trial and error is a very slow and painful way to grow. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You know, follow people like Nick. Follow people like me. Um, there's just so much people, so, so many people out there who want to help you for some reason, right? I don't know why. Like I, I love doing what I do. It's I'm very, very passionate about it, and uh, I'm not always right, right? But just follow somebody, get mentored by somebody. YouTube is a great resource, but you don't have to do this alone. Just, just learn, 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 and uh, and, and yeah, don't, don't, don't make your own mistakes when somebody else already made them. Just learn, learn from somebody else's mistakes. That would be best advice. I wish I can go back in the past and tell old Tariq I. I probably wouldn't be talking to you guys right now. I probably have a multi-million dollar party <laughs> company right now. Yep, I agree with that. I totally agree with that. So awesome. All right. Well, uh, thank you for joining us, Tariq. Everybody, um, whether you're watching on YouTube or you're tuning in on the podcast, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're listening to the podcast, leave a review. It means the world to me. I appreciate it very much. So Tariq, you can stay in here. I'm going to end the broadcast um, and you'll stay in the studio for a second. Everybody else, thank you so much. Peace out. Thank you, guys.